Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be a little bit controversial today um, and no doubt I'm going to spark a lot of uh, debate about this. So feel free to drop comments uh, down in the section and we'll have a good chat about this. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about glazes. Um, it was a hotly debated topic on uh, a certain forum uh, which will remain nameless. A couple of weeks ago that using a glaze is cheating. Well, I kind of get where you're coming from with that to be honest with you. Um, but let's talk about glazes in general and let's sort of break it down and put it into context. So, for those who aren't in the know, what is a glaze? Well, a glaze is basically a beauty product for your car, kind of like a foundation. A glaze has the capability of filling minor imperfections such as very light swirls, um, wash induced marring, holograms, that sort of thing. The problem is, people in the detailing world, they're kind of so hung up on, on perfection, and I can't fault them for it, I really can't fault them for it at all. The general mindset is that you need to polish it properly, get it absolutely perfect for it to be a true detail, and I do agree with them. Um, you can't beat an absolute perfectly finished vehicle, the, the, the finish that you get from jeweling and finishing down and good LSP, it, is, it, it cannot be beaten, it cannot be equaled. But, what do you do if you haven't got the time for that? If you haven't got 30 hours to put into a car, you've got a show coming up in a week or so, and you've noticed a couple of little imperfections in the car. Well, this is where glaze is coming. I'm going to be glazing doggy today. Now, I'm going to bring you in, and we're going to take a good look at the paintwork. Now, I'm purposely doing this in full sun, because you, you, you can't hide imperfections in full sun. And as you can see, there really aren't any swells in it. There really, there's a little, little bit of maybe washing juice marring, or maybe not. But there really are no swells in this paintwork whatsoever. So why are you glazing it, Craig? Well, another part of uh, a glaze is the gloss that it gives you. This is silver. There's never any gloss in silver at all, is there? So a glaze will help boost the gloss levels on this. Let me just show you what I'm going to be using today. Um, on the car, I'm going to be using uh, white diamond. But glazes, in general, um, I mean, poor boys do, do colour specifics. So white diamond is for light colours, black hole is for dark colours. You can use either on either on either colour, it doesn't really matter. The filling properties will always be the same, it's just that the gloss enhancement on um, black hole would be better suited for darker colours. And just to throw a maverick, um, there's also a, a swirl concealing polish from Splash Detailing. Now, it is a polish, it does have very, very fine abrasives in it, I mean very fine abrasives, and it does kind of fill and it offers a reasonable gloss, not on the level of these two, but it's okay. These also, can they don't contain abrasives, but they do contain cleaners, and the cleaner's job is exactly to do that, it cleans the paintwork as you use it. Um, I'm waffling. So instead of waffling, let's just pop you down here, get you in position. I'm going to run a tape line and we're going to see if there's any difference that can be noticed in full sun. Back in a sec. A tape line has been run. Very crooked, isn't it? And no, I wasn't drinking last night either. Let's just have a look. I mean, like I said, we've already ascertained that there really isn't a lot in the way of swirls. Um, and just to show you, there is no tomfoolery afoot. But what I want you to do is pay particular attention to the gloss. Uh, what's the best angle to get it at? Yeah, probably that as a point of reference. Right, we'll come back to this one shortly. 
true Craig fashion, the wind is picking up. The wind is always picking up there. Right, give your product a really good shake. I am going to be using uh, this particular section by hand, um, and I'll be machining the rest of it. I'm using a microfiber applicator, pretty much because I can. Not a huge amount, but a generous amount. Onto the surface it goes. Actually, that is way, way too much. That is far too much product. Okay, let's remove some of it. Work it in. Now, because I'm working by hand, I am going to go in straight lines. You can go in circles if you want to, it don't really matter. If you were applying it with a DA, you'd be going in circles, so it doesn't really matter. The car has been washed. Um, it's had some fallout remover on it. I haven't clayed it. Oh, Craig, that's controversial. Yes, it is controversial, but let's not forget, this is pretty much swirl free. If I was to clay it, I'm going to be putting marks back into it. I don't want to do that. Despite the fact that I'm using um, a glaze, I'm doing it for the gloss purposes, not the, not the, uh, the masking purposes. So that's why I didn't clay. Work your glaze until you can start to see your paint work through it. Just like that. Pop that down there. Let's use the fluffy side of the towel. And buff that bad boy up. My goodness, it comes off nice and easy. Now, to my eye, I've doubled the gloss level on that straight away. Never like running tape lines because it leaves hard edges on the paint, but it's bingery. You're never going to notice a huge difference with silver. That's that side, and there's the glazed side. To me, I can see a difference. I'm hoping it's picking it up on the camera. Let's go back to our, uh, was that our reference angle? You can definitely see, especially here, look. Look between there and there. That's much glossier. Right, let's get the DA out. Let's get glazing, shall we? Okay, we're all set up with the DA. Now when it comes to pad choice, you can use a very, very soft finishing pad. Uh, they do actually do glaze specific pads as well. And um, this is kind of an in-between. It's just uh, a black flexi pads finishing pad. For the first application, because it's a bone dry pad, going to be five pea size drops and then after that you're bumping it down to four this is uh, you're actually working the product into the surface so you do need a little bit of product on there okay same as machine polishing really dab it around the surface make sure that you get good even coverage Work it on, uh, spread it on speed one. Now because we're not diminishing any abrasives, you're not going to have to work this at all. Um, low speed, two. And we're just going to basically work it in a lattice pattern until we can start to see the shine appear.
there, speed two, the three passes, it's virtually ghosted onto the panel. So it's ready to come up. Now not all glazes are created equal. I mean this is wiping off with <laughs> no effort whatsoever. You could work it a little bit higher, maybe speed three, and you would probably have only needed two passes. That's three quarters of panel done in what? Minute? Minute and a half? If I was doing even if I was just doing an enhancement polish, it would be five, six, maybe seven minutes of panel. This stuff is going to be two minutes of panel. Bring you in. Metallic. I really wish that I don't know if he's going to pick it up or not. Let's try and get the angle. Metallic is amazing. Right. I'm going to stop it there because I want to get cracking. Um, how long will the effects of the glaze last? It will last as long as whatever you top it off with. It's not a product that has its own protection built in. Well, these aren't anyway. So you're going to need to top it with a wax or a sealant. Now, it, the effects of the glaze will last as long as your wax or sealant will last. Uh, I'm going to be topping this with EXP because I've always found white diamond and EXP are a match made in heaven for lighter colours. Um, I hope you found it useful, guys. So, to answer the question, are glazes cheating? Well, it all depends on, on the context, doesn't it? Putting it on this just to enhance the gloss, I don't see why it's cheating. I mean, it's only doing the same job as a, a good quality Canuba or Sunan would do. Um, and the benefits of glazes, if you've got cars, say for instance, lease cars, um, if you want it looking sharp before you send it back so you don't end up with a huge bill, glaze fit, glazes fit that bill perfectly. Are they for the purist? No, of course they're not for the purist. Um, but they're really good at topping things like this up and just making it look outstanding drop comments down below guys I'd love to hear what you think about it um, I hope you found it useful um, I'm going to get on get this all done and looking sharp and uh, I'm just going to enjoy driving it for the summer guys thanks ever so much for watching thank you to all my new subscribers up to 595 now awesome awesome really 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 over the moon with that guys thank you ever so much manufacturers if you're watching and you would like your products reviews please get in touch drop a comment and i will get in touch with you or alternatively um, find me on facebook same name as the channel craig whitehouse detailing thanks for looking guys look after yourselves and until the next time keep it shiny